Before we dive into the core of the declaration, and the captivating science behind the Large Hadron Collider, LHC, let's first take a moment to appreciate what makes this extraordinary machine so significant. The LHC, operated by CERN, is more than just the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator, it's a breathtaking feat of engineering, and a testament to human curiosity and ingenuity. This 17-mile ring of superconducting magnets, has been designed to accelerate protons to nearly the speed of light, then crash them together with such immense energy that it recreates the conditions just moments after the Big Bang. In doing so, the LHC doesn't just answer age-old questions about the universe, it opens up a Pandora's box of new possibilities, and, inevitably, new risks. CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, was founded in 1954 and has since become one of the most prestigious and influential scientific institutions in the world. With 23 member states and thousands of researchers collaborating from all corners of the globe, CERN stands as a beacon of scientific progress. The LHC, its flagship project, is the jewel in CERN's crown, but it's just one part of an expansive network of particle accelerators, and detectors working together to unlock the universe's mysteries. Picture a cosmic racetrack, not for cars or athletes, but for subatomic particles, racing at velocities approaching the speed of light, in an effort to answer the most fundamental questions about existence itself. The LHC accelerates protons to nearly the speed of light, then sends them crashing into each other, releasing unimaginable amounts of energy, energy so intense that it mirrors the temperature and force that existed just moments after the Big Bang. These collisions are so powerful, that they create temperatures hotter than the core of the Sun, millions of degrees hotter. To control and steer these particles, the LHC uses thousands of superconducting magnets, which need to be kept colder than deep space, while advanced cooling systems ensure everything runs smoothly. These particles collide at four major detectors, ATLAS, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB, each designed to capture and analyze the aftermath of these high-energy collisions. Scientists study the results of these particle impacts with one central goal, to unlock the universe's deepest secrets. They're searching for evidence of the elusive Higgs boson, the so-called God particle, which was only theorized until its discovery at the LHC in 2012. They also hunt for clues of dark matter, the invisible substance that makes up about 85% of the universe's mass, but which remains completely undetectable by conventional means. By examining these tiny interactions, scientists hope to find answers to questions that have perplexed humanity for centuries. But for every answer, a new question emerges, and for every breakthrough, a new challenge arises. The LHC is not just a tool for scientific discovery, it's a symbol of human curiosity, ambition, and our relentless desire to understand the universe at its most fundamental level. It embodies the very essence of scientific exploration, pushing the boundaries of what we know and constantly reaching for new frontiers of understanding. Yet as we venture deeper into the mysteries of the cosmos, we must also face the moral and existential dilemmas that accompany such profound experimentation. What are the risks of delving into the unknown? Could the quest for knowledge inadvertently unleash forces beyond our control? In the hallowed halls of CERN, where the most cutting-edge theories of physics are tested every day, a discovery has surfaced that has left even the most seasoned scientists uneasy. Brian Cox, a physicist and former scientist at CERN, recently made a statement that sent ripples of both excitement and anxiety through the scientific community. He explained that the LHC's goal is to recreate a miniature version of the Big Bang itself. Yes, you heard that right, a miniature Big Bang. This is no science fiction fantasy, but a very real, very tangible experiment unfolding right now at the heart of the LHC. The aim is to recreate the conditions of the early universe, just moments after the Big Bang, when particles were born in an explosive frenzy of energy and matter. This process is both thrilling and terrifying. 
Imagine the possibility of holding the very essence of the universe in your hands, the chance to observe the forces that shaped everything from the birth of galaxies to the formation of stars and planets. It's an irresistible prospect. But with such power comes immense responsibility, and the question inevitably arises, what if something goes wrong? While the potential of the LHC is undeniably exciting, there are inherent dangers in manipulating forces so fundamental to the fabric of reality. A chilling reminder of these dangers comes from an incident in 1978 when Russian physicist Anatoly Borshchev, working at the U-70 synchrotron in Russia, experienced a catastrophic accident. A proton beam, carrying energy beyond comprehension, passed directly through his skull. It entered through the back of his head and exited through his nose, without causing immediate fatal harm. He saw a flash brighter than a thousand suns but remained conscious and even walked to a medical center for treatment. The incident left him with partial facial paralysis and hearing loss in one ear. Yet, astonishingly, his intellectual faculties remained unaffected, and he went on to continue his scientific career. Borshchev's experience serves as a powerful, and somewhat eerie, reminder of the raw and uncontrollable power of particle accelerators like the LHC. This incident raises a fundamental question, are we truly prepared for the potential risks that come with pushing the boundaries of science so relentlessly? The LHC's experiments also open the door to some of the most intriguing and unsettling scientific possibilities. One of the most alarming concerns is the potential for creating a miniature black hole. Black holes, as we know, are regions in spacetime where gravity is so intense that nothing, not even light, can escape. These cosmic monsters are known for their ability to devour everything in their vicinity. The idea that a tiny black hole might be created in the LHC, even one on an infinitesimally small scale, is enough to send chills down the spine of both scientists and the general public. Could such a black hole grow uncontrollably and eventually devour the Earth from within? Fortunately, the scientists at CERN have put many of these fears to rest. They assure us that any black hole created in the LHC would be incredibly small, unstable, and would evaporate almost instantly. This evaporation is due to a phenomenon known as Hawking radiation, predicted by the brilliant physicist Stephen Hawking, which suggests that black holes gradually lose mass and energy and disappear in a flash. The likelihood of creating a stable black hole is so astronomically low that, for all practical purposes, it is considered a non-issue. Still, the idea of recreating even the tiniest black hole raises tantalizing, if unsettling, possibilities. In fact, the very notion of creating a black hole in a laboratory setting has prompted many leading scientists to reflect on the unknown dangers we might be unlocking. Stephen Hawking himself warned of another potential danger, that the Higgs boson, when created at high energy levels, could trigger a vacuum decay. This event, which would destabilize the very vacuum of space, could set off a chain reaction that might lead to the destruction of the universe itself. While such a scenario is considered highly unlikely, the very possibility of it has fueled existential concerns among some of the world's brightest minds. Sir Martin Rees, in his book Our Final Hour, also speculated on the risks of high-energy physics experiments. He warned that even though the chances of such catastrophic events were low, the consequences of their occurrence would be so severe that humanity could face risks far beyond our ability to fully comprehend or control. Despite these concerns, the scientific community remains overwhelmingly optimistic about the safety of the LHC. Ryan Cox and other leading experts assure us that extensive safety measures, simulations, and reviews have been conducted to ensure that the risks are minimal. The energies involved in the LHC experiments are well within the range of what Earth naturally encounters during cosmic events like supernovae and cosmic ray collisions. The chances of creating a stable black hole or triggering a catastrophic vacuum decay, they argue, are so small as to be negligible. Yet, 
The very thought of opening a door to another universe or dimension has captivated the imagination of both scientists and the general public. The concept of parallel dimensions has been a topic of speculation for centuries, but it gained renewed attention with the advent of string theory, which suggests that extra dimensions might exist beyond the familiar three of space and one of time. Some theorists speculate that the extreme conditions created by the LHC could expose these hidden dimensions, creating rifts in spacetime that might, in theory, allow us to peer into other realities. While the mainstream scientific community largely dismisses these ideas as fanciful, the very notion has sparked public fear and fascination. In the end, the LHC stands as both a marvel of human achievement and a cautionary tale about the limits of scientific experimentation. It represents our greatest ambitions, the desire to understand the fundamental forces that shape our universe, but it also serves as a reminder of the potential dangers, when we push the frontiers of knowledge too far, too fast. The LHC is not just an engineering marvel, it is a metaphor for the relentless pursuit.